for the Marlins. It is Eliezer Hernandez, fifth start of the season, third off the IL, coming off a loss against the Reds, who awaits an 0 2 pitch. And it's on the corner for a called strike three. Otherwise, he shaves about three runs off the ERA. Here he gets the strikeout of Kibun, his second of the game, and there's one away. A swing and a miss, a changeup that time. And he got him on the slider. A huge strikeout for Eliezer Hernandez. Run, they're averaging just a little less than six runs a game. This is a fly ball out to deep left field. Is it going to carry? Oh, yeah, it will. Another home run for Miguel Rojas. And again, he gets Patrick Corbin. Marlins extend their lead. Now, Miggy Rowe had been struggling just a bit coming in, but a lot of times it's really good to see a familiar face, a guy that you've had tremendous success against in your career, batting average up over 400, a couple of home runs, and a big night for Rojas. Luzardo, 12th start, 19th game of the season, his sixth start with Miami. And he goes to the changeup to get Castellanos. That's out number one. Greatest hitters in franchise history. And he is called out on strikes. And Aquino with a fly ball out toward right. And Sanchez in right center to make the catch, and there are two away. Three balls, two strikes, and two outs. And there's a strikeout of Castellanos. And Votto chases. A breaking ball. He's gotten him twice, and that's five Ks for Luzardo. 3-2 pitch to Suarez. And it's the curveball for Luzardo. And he's called out on strikes. He didn't like the call. After that, it was a walk. It was an error in the second inning. That is a strikeout for Luzardo, his eighth to match a season and career high. Poked out to right, and Sanchez is there. Once again, Sandy Alcantara, 27th start of the year. Back-to-back -back outings against the Reds. Seven innings, two earned runs. There were a couple of solo home runs on Sunday afternoon. From Alcantara to Naquin. There we go. He got him. There's a strikeout for Sandy Alcantara to cool off Naquin for an at-bat. Those two did not pitch in that four-game set. Sandy gets the strikeout of Joey Votto, and so they have scored a total of ten runs for Sandy. They're halfway there. One inning into this one. And Moustakis is down on strikes. And he got him to chase the slider. Strikeout number four for Sandy, and it's out number two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Base is loaded. And Sandy comes back, gets the strikeout, and leaves the bases loaded. And Sandy gets the strikeout of Stevenson. No check again. And he went around again. Another strikeout for Alcantara. Reds have been threatening, but... Sandy's been able to buckle down as he gets Naquin who reinvented himself a number of times in this start tonight. Did it again. Goes to it again. Strikes out Votto. Nine strikeouts for Sandy Alcantara. Oop. Bernhardt's not happy. And 
and that bat will not be used again. Fourth time this year he struck out double digits. And now he matches his career high with 11 strikeouts in back to back outings both against the Reds. One two. And another new career high for Sandy Alcantara. Set it in his last start and he resets it tonight with a dozen K's.